started naming cycloalkanes. And it won't take long. I'm severely limited by my YouTube broadcast, which can only be 10 minutes. So it's got to be fast. Fortunately, I can have three of the 10 minute things if I need to. So we're going to call this naming cycloalkanes. Add it to yesterdays. It's an extension of yesterday. It's not as hard, I don't think, but it's a little different. Um, naming cycloalkanes is pretty easy. We only have four base names to deal with. We've got a triangle. We got a square. We got a house. And we got uh, whatever that's called, a hexagon. Now, those are going to be our bases. Instead of the longest chains, we're going to use these. And the names of them, this is called cyclopropane. And what you got to remember, but you don't have to write four times, is that at the corner, or each corner there, there's a carbon with two hydrogens. We just don't write that, we just write the shape instead. So just remember, oh yeah, every corner is a carbon. This one, what do you think he's called? Cyclobutane. I once made a, a flyer for Young Life and it said, be there or be cyclobutane. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'll take that. Um, this is cyclopentane, and this is cyclohexane. They do make cycloheptane, cyclooctane, cyclonone, but we're not going to mess with them because they're not very common. So these are the base names. Yeah. So in the corner of every single one of those. Yeah, I didn't draw it, but there's a carbon and two C, um, carbon and two H's at each corner. So just kind of keep that in mind, although we don't have to write it. <coughs> Name them is not a big deal. The biggest problem people have is finding the lowest numbers. So just say you got this, Mr. Square, and I've got a BR, a BR, and a BR. You have to number the corners. That's up to you if you want to do that in your head or you want to write it down. So you want to pick number one and go in whichever direction will give you the lowest total numbers. If I start with number one right here, I'm going to get like a one, one, two. Four. If I, that's four. If I started here, I would get a, two, a one, two, two, which is five. If I start over here, I'd get even bigger numbers. So my answer to this is going to be one, one, two, tribromo, cyclobutane. How bad is that? Yeah, Hopefully not too bad. We're going to race those and do one other for you. Let's see if we can get it. So remember, you don't have to look for the longest chain. All you got to do is look for the shape. All right, I'm going to draw, let's try a six-sided one because those are sometimes more fun. Six-sided thing here. So I know my base name is cyclohexane. I'll put some other things off of here. Okay. If that was a clock, at what time are you going to start? About 10, 10 o'clock, meaning this is going to be number one. I'm going to go this way, and I've got to figure out what are these things. This thing here is a methyl. You figured that out yesterday. These things are all ethyls. You know, we wrote it as line CH2, CH3, but if you write CH3, CH2, it's the same thing. So you're going to call this thing 1, 1, 2, triethyl. 3-methyl cyclohexane. And I did alphabetize using the E and the M. Look it over, see if you got any questions. Easier than yesterday, isn't it? Mm -hmm. 
What's the purpose of like having it like to one one two all that stuff like? You have to tell where it is. That's the only thing it's good for is telling the location of the cipher. Like if I just said triethyl methyl cyclohexane, you wouldn't know where to put them. So it's like an what address. For like educational purposes for it? Just to tell you so that we all come up with the same answer every time. Um, you're thinking probably, oh, I, if I see this with two on it, that's always where I start. Let me give you one example where that's not true. Say I have like um, a CL, CLCL, like that. If I go starting right here and go that way, I'm probably going to get bigger numbers than if I say start here or here. Now, I don't have my calculator, so I didn't add them up. But this will probably give you the lowest number. You need to go for this. Did you already add it up? Eight. Eight? And then if I start here. You said nine. Oh, no, just off the other side. I can't do that. Nine. Nine. We'll say it's nine. So uh, without even writing two the plus name. Two plus five. That's there seven. Maybe it's ties. <laughs> We're going to say it's nine. Okay. Uh, you don't always start here. That's the main point. Earlier in the day, I used a six item. I'm thinking, well, maybe the same thing. But uh, you don't always start where there's two. You always start where it's going to give you the lowest numbers. All right. That's cycloalkane. Do you got any questions on that? Okay. Cut that because I got one more section. I'm